It's time for another paint with Paul, and this time it's about Smart Select and Make 3D. So I'm going to start with the 2D tools to begin with and draw a couple of flowers, this time with the pixel pencil, and I'm going to make it 3D. So I'm going to select around the flower, click on Smart Select, and click on Make Object, which makes it a 3D object in your scene. And because it's a 3D object, I can move it into and out of the scene that I'm going to be working on. I'm just going to move it over to the left, out of my staging area, I'm going to draw a couple more flowers with different tools. So while I'm doing this, I'm just going to talk about circles because all art comes from circles. The more you practice circles, the better you become as an artist. So here we go, I've got a range of flowers and a range of stems. And now I've got a flower vase in the scene, which I've downloaded community. It's not all about what you make. Sometimes it's about mashing up and collaborating. So you can paint on the vase with a 3D pen tool, full on color, or don't forget, you can change the opacity. Finally, just to set it off, you can add stickers. I'm just going to put the paint logo onto my vase. Now finally, I've got all these 3D objects. I just need to flower arrange them into the vase themselves. So I can move the flower stems into and out of the scene, and I can change how they're rotated. I'm going to do the same with the flowers. Then in order to check the objects in the scene, I'm going to hide the canvas by clicking on it and clicking on hide canvas. And then I'm going to change the scene from 3D view to free view. So there you have it, flower arranging in paint. Most importantly, don't just watch these videos, have a go yourself, see what you can do with these tools.